Hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle, Rogue vs. Wonder Woman. Now keep in mind that I will be watching the entire death battle, so there will be spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, click here or the link in the description to go to the official release. So if you watched my Pokemon Royale death battle, you'll know that I made a pretty good guess. You know, I did my research, I put everything together, as best I could at least, and I actually um, worked along the same lines that a lot of the researchers of Death Battle did, so it felt pretty cool. I will say this time I did not do research, and I'll say right now that I don't know Wonder Woman that well. I'm not familiar with DC characters overall, the DC universe, the comics, anything really. Um, not too familiar with Marvel either, but certainly more so. And X-Men too I'm, is one of my preferred Marvel things, so I know a little bit more about Rogue. What I know about Rogue is that whether she wants to or not, when she touches someone like skin on skin contact, she absorbs like their life essence, and if they're mutants then their powers too. Not to completely take them away, unless for, you know, a long period of time, but I think at that point the person would die on the other end. Um, but yeah, so she can actually gain their powers and use it for a while, so that's pretty cool. Kinda means she can't have relationships, but that's alright, right? Who needs people? Where I know most of my rogue information is from the game X-Men Legends, in which she was stronger, she could fly, and aside from that, like canonically, I don't really know what her powers are aside from the whole touch people and you absorb their life and essence sort of deal. So, yeah, I'm not sure, and let's move on to Wonder Woman. Yeah, I really don't know much about Wonder Woman at all. I know she has her invisible jet, her lasso of... Does it have a name? Is it a lasso of truth? Is it a lasso of binding? It's a magic lasso. I know it's a magic lasso, but that's pretty much all I have. I think you're not supposed to be able to break it? Is that what it is? It's like indestructible? I don't know. Yeah, I think she was raised like Amazon or something, right? Maybe? I don't know. It'll be interesting to learn about her. But yeah, with what I know, I don't know enough to really make a guess as to who's going to win. Um, I really don't know enough about Wonder Woman, and I don't know all that much about Rogue either. Out of the two, like just in terms of characters from what I know of them, I like Rogue better, but that's definitely not saying that I think she would win or even that I necessarily want her to win. I'm gonna have to hear these analyses of the characters and then I can make a better decision. So on that note, let's get to watching. Uh, I hope this solidifies my decision. Superheroes. Millions have been drawn to these modern myths of comic book lore. Or you could uh, just be drawn to the way they're drawn. Emma like Anna Frost. Marie, the Rogue. And Diana Prince, the Wonder Woman. He's Boomstick and I'm Wizard. And we're here to watch two chicks duke it out. <laughs> Cat five. It's our ah! job to analyze their it's weapons, they use armor, kidding. and skills. And maybe a few other things. To find out who would win a death battle. All right. Rogue has possessed a variety of different powers over the years. For this duel in particular, we will use the most well-known version, the original iteration from the comics and television show. Which her is... deadliest weapon is her own skin. With okay, just a touch, yeah. she absorbs a person's memories, talents, personalities, and abilities, whether superhuman or not. I didn't know it was them all herself. that. Too bad it knocks him out cold. Like personality if she holds on long enough, <laughs> it's game over. Tenacious foes like Juggernaut can resist it, but in the end, nobody is safe from Rogue's parasitic touch. For every second of contact, Rogue can keep these powers for a full minute. Oh, but sometimes there's that's unforeseen the side effects. She held on to Miss Marvel for so long, she absorbed her powers permanently. Now she's got super strength, speed, and near invulnerability. So that's where she got the strength. Now that I okay, blame that's her, though, she got the strength. I'd be holding on to Miss Marvel for as long as I could. <laughs> Plus, then when she's unconscious, I could She also more. gained a seventh sense, the ability to subconsciously predict her opponent's moves. But her seventh sense doesn't seem to always work. That or the writers just forgot about it, because uh, Rogue gets her ass kicked a lot. For plot convenience. And damn, she's got a hot ass. What? Hey, that counts <laughs> as a superpower in my book, Wiz. While she's not invincible, she doesn't have any real weaknesses either. She's okay, a glassy that's southern good. belle who I'd like to take out to dinner. Who can fly, lift buildings, and kill people just by touching them. Never mind. Ain't that enough? So she can fly, she does have to the uneducated that was nerd, Wonder Super Woman strength. may seem a cheap clone of Superman. With super boobies! But in reality, she's a whole different story. Created from Earth, born by gods, trained by ancient warriors. Maker of Wonder Bread, designer of the Wonder Bra. Homestick, that's not true. <laughs> See, I can do it too, is. Wonder Woman <laughs> is the incredibly powerful and near invincible ambassador of Themyscira and self appointed protector of the Earth. And she dresses like a stripper, a patriotic stripper. So Diana not quite Prince anything has been like trained Amazons. by the Amazons as a master combatant. Amazons! Since oh, childhood. okay. She dueled the best of the best for the right to be crowned Wonder Woman. Her unearthly powers are divine, granted by ancient Greek gods I and goddesses. I just change clothes From like that, that's the power itself. strength and durability. 
You know that bitch mailman god with the wingy shoes? Hermes. Whatever. He gave Wonder Woman the ability to fly and move at hypersonic speed. She oh. was given numerous other powers from enhanced senses, animal rapport, and blessings of wisdom and empathy. Aside from the obvious cannons resting right below her neck, she's got a pretty bizarre mix of weaponry. Her lasso of truth is a truth. piece of yeah. unbreakable string that, well, makes it tell the truth. What other depraved thoughts must you be thinking? God, your daughter's got a nice rack. Hell yeah, she does! She uses her tiara as a long-range throwing weapon, using its razor-sharp edge to slice open her enemy's throat. Wonder oh. Babe here wears the bracelets of submission, indestructible steel gauntlets forged from the remains of name. Zeus's legendary Aegis. These babies can block all sorts of attacks. She has persevered throughout the years, fighting a huge variety of foes, even killing the Greek god of war, Ares. That Hear that, cool. Kratos? A chick beat you to it. <sighs> Let's see you smile now. All right, the combatants okay. are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I need some singles from my very own Wonder Stripper. Thanks to GoDaddy. Pause. Okay, so we're going to talk through this commercial here and just let it play on on its own. Um, okay, they they both have a lot more powers or weapons in Wonder Woman's case. She has more powers too than I had initially known. So, this makes it more difficult. Um, with Rogue's, like, seven cents, I think that she'd be able to predict a little bit more of what Wonder Woman is capable of and what she could do. But... Uh, you know, they said it was just for plot convenience that she got her butt kicked when she did in the shows and stuff, or comics, whatever. But, I don't know if that's the case, or if they, they could even play that into the death battle. I don't really know. Wonder Woman, you know, she has, she can fly, she can go hypersonic speeds, which I did not know at all. And just, you know, her array of items seems like it could be very helpful. I don't think telling the truth in this case will really help much, but just the fact that her lasso is indestructible, that could really help if she can get rogue with that. If she can get rogue with that and then get in a few good punches or a slice from her Tagara or whatever, then rogue could be done. But if rogue can touch Wonder Woman, then Wonder Woman could be done because it would weaken her and rogue would get like increased powers, right? Along with her personality and memory, so maybe she could guess more her fighting style. I don't know. Um, uh, it's hard to say. I'm thinking again Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman is like Superman in the sense that she's like kind of OP, you know, not that that's bad, that's just who she is, you know, that's who they are. They can be that way because they're comic book characters. But I'm thinking right now Wonder Woman's going to win just because she has more for her in more areas, more scenarios, you know, more situations. Whereas Rogue, I feel like she would have to touch Wonder Woman. But if she does, if she does touch Wonder Woman, then I would have to lean toward Rogue. So throwing that out there. All right. And we're gonna find the end of this commercial and get to the battle. And play. There's Rogue flying in with her hair flapping in the breeze. Where's Wonder Woman gonna come from? Oh, just like that. Fight. No reason, just fight. Ow. Uh, uh, ow! Why would you let her out of the lasso? Okay, she Oh! Oh, I see what just- Oh! Oh, that was a long time. How many seconds was that? Oh, dang. I mean, again, now I'm leaning in her direction. She just got one of those stuff. Oh, but there's the speed! There's the speed! But then she has the speed! Yeah! She and again, Wonder Woman is... No, I want to say she's more used to her powers, but if Bro can get memories and stuff... Good night, sugar. Oh, the gifts of death! <laughs> really? <laughs> And history has the best death battle right. ever. Poor Wonder Woman was more than a match for Rogue, but then she touched Rogue's face. Mm. Wonder Woman is a trained fighter, so naturally she would strike her opponent's weakest spots, like the neck, stomach, joints, and, well, the face. In the end, her failure was a result of her thorough Amazonian training. And her stripper outfit. Her <laughs> leg was just begging to be grabbed there. Though, personally, uh, I might have grabbed elsewhere. Wonder Woman's powers may be godly, but Rogue's taken similar powers before, so there's no reason to say she couldn't hear. Adding Wonder Woman's strength and speed to Rogue's own power gave her a Ooh. huge advantage, drastically turning the tide. A I didn't know I added combos though. combos and our favorite ex-girl had Wonder Woman on the ropes. And with her combined reflexes speed and seventh sense, she outmaneuvered Wonder Woman with one fatal kiss. All Rogue right. sure made out in this fight. The winner is Rogue. Oh, good job, Rogue. Good Next job. Next time on Death Battle. Okay. Got a Goomba.
Koopa. Got a Koopa. Was this for Mario? No! Fight. Oh, Go Go oh Goomba vs. Right. Battle. Some people have talked Leave about that. Alright, I stayed until the very, very end and there was nothing after, so now we get to talk about the death battle! Okay, so... I, I think I was kind of right. I didn't quite think... Like, at the beginning, it totally looked like Wonder Woman was kicking Rogue's butt. But, um, I like how they mention how her Amazonian training taught her, you know, you fight, you attack the opponent's weak spots, right? The joints, the opener, the face, and all that. So, I think it makes sense that she would punch Rogue, because after all, they don't know about each other. I'm pretty sure that's a rule of this. They can't know, right? Unless they both know each other in the same universe that's canon or something like that. Someone posted rules recently, but anyway. Um, Rogue, or er, Wonder Woman couldn't have known about Rogue's ability, so she wouldn't know what to avoid. She just knew that she could fly, and she was strong, maybe, from her encounters but yeah there was nothing actually saying hey don't touch her skin or you will die so that must have come as quite a surprise um yeah rogue she held on to wonder woman's leg for quite a long time you know longer than i thought would be possible i thought rogue or wonder woman would have just zoomed away right away but no she really absorbed those powers what i didn't know was that rogue's powers actually like added on to what she absorbed i thought it kind of replaced them you know i thought it was like okay well i'm no longer this person i'm like this person but in my body that's kind of what i thought it was but no if it adds up it totally makes sense in my mind that that would happen to wonder woman um really though i think she shouldn't you know this of course is just in regards to the animation the fight um I'm surprised Wonder Woman let Rogue go out of the lasso, and again, that had nothing to do with the analyses, but if Wonder Woman had held on to Rogue, because Rogue couldn't have gotten free, maybe like shimmied free, you know, but not just broken free, um, she could have done some more damage. But even if she did hold on to Rogue longer with the lasso, Rogue probably would have just touched her anyway, or Wonder Woman touched Rogue in the wrong spot, and then, you know, Rogue would have gotten her powers, and it totally would have escalated from there. I don't know. I personally am happy with this result because, like I said, I like Rogue more as a character and maybe I'd like Wonder Woman a lot more if I knew more about her. Like, some of the scenes that they showed, she seemed really rather cool, and it would be nice to get to know her better, but, yeah, I don't. So that's the thing, but judging by now, I don't know her as well. You know, I almost feel now that Rogue's outfit should be really revealing, so that if anyone touches her practically anywhere, they're gonna hurt, you know? I mean, just imagine that. Of course, you know, modesty is cool and all that, but if you get... If, if people will die by touching your skin, and you're going into combat, and your suit doesn't really offer protection anyway, you might as well leave more openings for you to, like, attack them without doing any work, right? Like, if... Say she were wearing a bikini during this battle. <laughs> Wonder Woman at the beginning, all those punches would have, like, hurt her, you know, Wonder Woman herself, because of the open skin. Now, because this start is starting to sound perverted, I'm going to stop. But that started out as a perfectly clean thought, so just know that I had good intentions. Yeah, that was a short death battle. I guess these early ones are rather short. Um, both the analyses and the fight, I thought, were pretty short. But... Yeah, that's just how it is, and um, I would have liked to hear more about them and maybe see a longer battle, but it was totally cool. It was totally cool. I enjoyed it all the same. So with all that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video, and until then, take care.